Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. I am doing something new today. This is great for beginners and it's also good for those people that are afraid to use their stuff because this is a no glue collage process. All right, the first thing that you want to do is find some backgrounds, some magazine images, Na National Geographic pages are really good. You can use catalogs, those interior catalogs that have great rooms that you want to collage with. You can print out your photographs and use those calendar pages. You could use painted paper or collaged backgrounds, scrapbook paper. You can use plain paper. If you just want to get out a piece of cardstock and just mess around, you can use anything that you have. Look around. You've probably got a lot of stuff that you can use. The second part is to get images. Now, I have a bunch of fussy cut images. Fussy cut images are the best for this. If you don't like to fussy cut, uh, wait for the end, and I've got a suggestion for you guys. And for those guys that do like to fussy cut, at the end I am going to suggest um, some things. So get your images out, and then start arranging. So I'm going to put my image, I'm just going to start arranging and start putting things on the page that I think I like and I'm going to put them exactly the way I want them and that is my collage I haven't glued anything down I can use these things again but this is what I'm really excited about I'm just going to take a picture of this collage it doesn't have to be anything special. It can be something that I'm just looking at or just trying to figure out or whatever. Um, take a picture of it. You, you can edit your photo. You can post your photos anywhere you want. You can save your photos. You've got the collage. The great thing about this is you haven't glued anything down, so you can use this background and put something else on it and use it again. You can use your collage images over and over and over again in all kinds of different ways. So if you want to spend some time fussy cutting and uh, those special images, um, then you can use them and you don't have to worry about using them and not being able to use them ever again because you've chosen just one thing. This way you can use them a million times on a million different ways until you figure out exactly what you want to do with it. For those people that don't like to fussy cut, there are people out there who really do like to fussy cut. Both of you should put a comment in the, the comments below this video those people that are willing to fussy cut for others, those people that need somebody to fussy cut for them. Hopefully you can find each other, make some arrangements, and get some fussy cutting done. I will leave it up to you to find each other and to make your own arrangements and figure out what you want to do. Um, there's tons of people that love to fussy cut, so uh, you can get around this. Um, so take your photos, post them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you like to post your photos, and then do it all over again with um, different backgrounds, different collage bits on top. Have some fun with it. I know I am going to. So I am live streaming today with some process of this. I've got a whole stack of magazines here, a whole stack of National Geographic pages, and a bunch of fussy cut images that I am just going to mess around with, play with, 
have some fun, take some pictures, post some on Instagram. <sighs> what else can I say? This is just an easy, easy way to work on collages without having the stress of losing anything. You can just play and play and play for hours with the same stuff. Find out if you've got a lot of stuff. Um, look around. You probably have tons of stuff around that you can use. And you don't be afraid of fussy cutting your images just because, you know, you're going to use them and then you're not going to have anything again. This way, you can take the time to fussy cut images and use them over and over again. They'll really make it worth it. So I hope you join me today for the live stream. We're going to have a lot of fun. I'll have people in the chat telling me what I should use and what I shouldn't use. And, and then we'll start all over and, you know, see what we come up with. I'm going to take a ton of pictures today. So I hope this helps people. I hope you had a lot of fun with this because I know I'm going to. Um, and I'm going to be doing this for a few weeks, I think. Thanks for watching.